I'ma tell you why you can't Said you got a wrong way to go Say you wanna love me You wanna touch me Think twice cause you got a wrong way to go Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own personal donate button from PayPal. So, you know, just in case if you don't want that usual donate button from PayPal, you want to create your own to either match your website or your blog website or um, anything else, you know, you can create your own. So if you have any photo editing program like Adobe Photoshop, uh, Illustrator, uh, Corel Draw, whatever, you know, you create something cool. So, um... In this example, I'm going to make something similar to this. Um, it's a pretty small one. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's I don't want to zoom in too much on it because it's going to look a little distorted like that. But you kind of get the idea. We're going to create your own personal donate button. And in this, sense, in this example, I'm going to use some of the styles. Like this one, I you guys probably seen me use in my last video or my previous video. Uh, this font, I mean this layer style called PP Font Styles. I should probably rename that because it, you know, it sounds whack. But um, basically, what it is is like a, a like a gloss button type um, layer style. And what it does, it kind of gives this nice overlay of this this shine to it, and it's it, this this opacity is pretty dim, dim down a little bit and stuff. So it's pretty cool. All right, so um, uh, once you created your PayPal account, which I will cover in my next video after this one. Um, I'll explain the in and outs of PayPal, um, creating your account and stuff, and and also there's other videos on YouTube. You can just search up PayPal, and um, some guys with um that I've seen will show you how to create your own PayPal account. Anyway, um, so yeah, so once you're in your PayPal account, once you've already created it. Um, what you're going to want to do is go to this tab right here, it says Merchant Services. And once you get there, you have a few options. Well, you got a bunch of options, but the ones we're going to look into is the ones right here on the left. And which you could create where it says Create Buttons. And you could um, create an Add to Card button, a Buy Now button, a Donate button, a Gift Certificate, and a Subscribe to Current Subscribers. Or something like that. I forgot what that one's for. Anyway, so the one we're going to do is donate button. You can do buy now too if you have, you know, you're selling stuff on your website. But for this one, I'm going to do, do donate. So press on donate. And once you've clicked on that, um, it will load up. And then it will say create a PayPal payment button. So, you know, it will explain, you know, the stuff up here. And what you're going to want to do is says, where it says accept payments for donations. You can select that. Or you can select products, services, whatever. But we're going to do donations. Okay, so once you've done that, what we're going to do is type something where it says organization name or service. So basically, if you have your own business or whatever, you might want to type that in there. Or for whatever the donation is for, you could type that in there. So for my example, I will put maybe Mike's Designs or uh, uh, support Mike's Designs maybe. Alright, so once you have that, um, you don't need to put a donation ID if you want. You could, uh, well, basically, a donation ID is a unique identifier. Yeah, yeah, you guys can read that. Um, next, what we're going to do is go to customize button. So, this is what you, the buyers, the people that's going to donate to your business or whatever it is, is going to see this right here on, on your right, right there. And what you can do is customize that button. So, you can use a regular PayPal button or you can uh, use your own PayPal button. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own PayPal button. So once you select that uh, that selection right there, what we're going to do first is make sure if you haven't already created your PayPal button. So there's mine right there, but for this example, I'm going to create one real quick in Adobe Photoshop. So the dimensions I used was 150 by 100. You pretty much be whatever you want, depending how big or how small you want it to be. Um, so you know, I'll just probably use maybe, maybe I'm in 200, just to get it a little wider. So 200 by 100. I'm gonna try that out. So it's you know lengthy, lengthy. Excuse me. 
anyway um we're gonna select the rounded rectangle tool right underneath the uh a button underneath the text tool go right under there and select rounded rectangle tool and make sure your radius is about 50 and what we're gonna do is just drag that out like that kind of get a good even amount right there just like that so once you have that we're gonna go select our layer styles and select that pp font style first well, we're gonna make sure that layer is selected and there you go so there's the one we want so I'm gonna edit that a little bit because the drop shot is a little going above I mean, a little more than I want to okay so one minute guys I got a phone call alright guys I'm back sorry about that um so once you're in your layer style just select the drop shadow and we're gonna decrease the, the size or the spread of it so it doesn't look too you know too out of place and press ok so once we have that we we'll select our text tool and the font I'm using is called Fairy Dust B. You guys can probably check that out on thefont.com. Or you could go over to my website and select um, how to download fonts on the forms and you should see the download of this font. Alright, so I'm going to call this Donate. Alright, so once you have that, I'm going to just move that over. Just like that. Alright, so once I have that, um, I'm just going to remove that background, control shift, control shift S to save it, and you can name it whatever you want, I'm going to call it donate, and uh, I'm going to save it, I already have that file already, so I'm just going to rewrite it, alright, it's giving me a little hard time, so I'm just going to rename it to something else. Alright, so I'm going to save the PSD file of it, just in case I'm going to go back into Photoshop and edit it. And I'm going to resave it again, but in this time I'm going to select PNG. Stacking it as a PNG will make sure you only have that button and not the background. So once you have that, you're going to want to go into um, either Photo Bucket. Um, you want to go into either Photo Bucket or Flickr or whatever you do to upload your images. In this case, if you want to, if you're already a member of my website, go to my, go to the photos section. Uh, go over to where it says my photos, and uh, you want to go to add photos and select the file that you want to upload. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the file I just made, donate to, and select add photo. So once you've done that and it's finished uploading. Uh, I think I just made a damn album. Excuse me about that. Um, Alright, so whatever. I'm um, just going to go into my photos because I see I already made it. So, anyway, once it's in your photos, I'm just going to edit this so it can only be for me. Alright, so, um, yeah, so anyway, once you get your photo finished uploaded, um, you want to click on that photo. And it's going to appear in a separate window, just like that, with the link, the URL to it. What you want to do is click that, and right click and copy it. And then go back to PayPal, um, where it says use your own button image. You're going to want to uh, take everything out of that box and press paste. And you're not going to be able to see the image for some reason, I don't know why. But yeah, so you're going to make sure your currency is um, US dollars. Uh, contribution amount you can either set it to donators enter their own contribution amount or you can set your own contribution amount so donators can only put in about ten dollars if you want or five doesn't matter so I'm just gonna leave it at you know everything and you could go um with these options and you know change if if you want but I'm just gonna go create button all right so once you've done you can't see the view for some reason again but once you've done that, you have the the uh, the HTML of your button, so you can post that on your website. Or if you're a frequent emailer and you email a lot of your friends or clients, uh, you could copy that URL and paste it into the email. So in this case, I'm gonna copy the the HTML, and I'm gonna go into my website, and I'm going to kind of edit one of the donate buttons I have already up so I'm just gonna just gonna paste that in there so right click 
and paste or control V to paste it and in my case I'm just gonna save it so as you can see there's the donate button right there and as you can see there's the little donate button that PayPal gives you to use and so if you just click on that donate button we just made you click on that um, you'll bring you'll be brought up to the PayPal account and as you can see where it says support my designs that's basically what the purpose is and you can add whatever your amount you want to put in a dollar two dollars whatever it is and then once you're done you press update totals and if you have a pay PayPal account with money on it you can log into your PayPal account and deposit the money to my PayPal account or if you have a credit or debit card you can enter your debit or credit card information and it will be deposited into my PayPal account alright so uh, this was a cool brief tutorial on how to make your own PayPal donate button um, please subscribe rate and comment